Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to an informed Diego Costa hybrid squad. Today we're going to be building a nice squad, of course, around that main man in form, Diego Costa from Chelsea, the Spaniard, who is very, very highly rated. 86, I do believe. But first off, if you could smash a like on the video, that would be absolutely incredible. 2,000 likes would be amazing. So in goal today... We're using this guy, Stefan Ruffier, an 83-rated French goalkeeper who plays for Saint-Étienne, has got 82 diving, 86 reflexes, and 82 positioning. He's 6'2", and I've got to say, I actually really enjoyed him. Solid keeper uh, on this game this year. Nice upgrade from last year. This is what the defence looks like. We've gone for uh, the Serie A on one side and the Liga BBVA on the other. We've got Cohen Trau at left back, who looks decent again this year. Look at those all-around stats, really good. He even got 65 shooting on him. Uh, which means that he can push up and possibly score you some goals. And then we've got Abdullah Konko at right back. Very, very pacey man. Uh, he's got 72 defending and 80 physical. That's not bad. He's six foot tall as well. I do quite like that. And I also like his medium, medium work rates. Then we've got this beastly silver. Kabulier, Koulibaly, that's, that's how you say it, 75 pace, 69 defending and 86 physical. This guy's got six foot He's six foot five in height. That's just crazy. That's ridiculous. And then we've got Rafael Varane, 81 rated this year with 76 pace, 83 defending, and 76 physical. Uh, he's six foot three as well. So you've got two very, very uh, tall centre backs. The only problem is Koulibaly is actually high attacking work rate, which could be a little bit of a problem. Other than that, I see his price absolutely skyrocketing soon because he looks ridiculous. We've got Willian at right midfield with them high, high work rates this year. That means he will help out that right back just a little bit. He's got the four-star skills and weak foot, as well as 89 pace and 87 dribbling. Really solid card, as always, on Ultimate Team. Now we've got Ramirez in central midfield. He costs around the 20 to 25,000 coin mark at the moment. I can't see that lasting for too long. Uh, but 88 pace, 82 dribbling, uh, and some other decent stats across the board is pretty good for Ramirez. Then we've got Diego at uh, left central midfield. He's got four-star skills and weak foot. He's also got some very, very good stats on the dribbling and passing side of things. He's a very technical player uh, and a very decent one as that. As well as Musa Sal, his teammate has got 83 pace, 79 dribbling and 80 shooting as well as 75 physical which is not too bad. He's a returning player from FIFA. What? 12 or 13? I can't remember the last time I used him, but I used to really like him on the game. And this is the strike force. Holy moly. We've got Emmanuel M and Nike, uh, the villain from yesterday's video. He is ridiculous. Let's face it. 88 pace, 76 dribbling, 80 shooting, and 83 physical. High low work rates. And he's just an in, uh, absolute monster. That's all he is. But Diego Costa's in form. It rivals it, really. He's he's 86 rated, 83 pace, 81 dribbling, 86 shooting, and 89 physical. Six foot two, man mountain. Very, very strong on the ball, off the ball. Ridiculously strong player in general. This team at the moment costs you around 400k. Uh, as time goes on, I'm not sure what's going to happen to Diego Costa's price. But I can imagine all of the other players will slowly drop in price, apart from maybe Koulibaly, who could possibly rise a little bit because he looks like an interesting silver in a good league. Now, um, the goals that we scored, Musa Sal did that sort of swivel volley right there, but it got deflected off a player. Uh, and then it's Diego Costa. Some great dribbling right there. Some really good strength to hold off that defender. And an absolutely solid finish. Now, him and Emanike are very similar players. Uh, I've got to say the one area where uh, where Costa stands out more than Emanike uh, is definitely the finishing on the ball and also the dribbling. Those two things are what make the difference between him and Emanike. Um, but really, there's a massive price difference and I know which one that you guys would choose. Uh, but however, if you're looking for a player with better league and nation links, then Diego Costa is your man. He's got far better work rates this year than he had before. Uh, and of course, that means... Um, a better striker in general. Uh, as you can see, the goals that he's scoring here, he's making great runs and a really, really solid finish on all of the goals that he's managed to get for me. Now, uh, the M&EK goals that you're seeing now, you will if you saw yesterday's video, the, the Heroes and Villains.
Ryan's episode, uh, you will have seen these goals. I'm really sorry about that. You know, I'm trying to make the most of my six hours on this uh, on this demo release thingy, whatever it is, the early access. Of course, it won't be like this in the future. When the full game's out on Friday, uh, you won't see this sort of thing. But for now, uh, I have to sort of use clips where I can. And I'm sure you guys understand that. I really do appreciate it as well. Um, but MNEK is a monster. I, I explained that to you guys in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that, I will of course leave the link to that in uh, in the outro of this video and make sure you go and check it out because he's one not to miss. You're really going to want to try this guy if you haven't done so already. He finds himself in the right place at the right time more often than not uh, and for uh, what I think is going to drop in price, I paid 7,700 coins for him but I think as the full game comes out and all of that and the market goes a bit nuts, I I think you'll see him dropping. I know there's a lot of hype about him, so I imagine he'll stay at around 5k for a little while, but really when you think about it, the striker that you're getting for that amount of coins is absolutely insane. You know, you guys are going to have a lot of fun using him. You're going to feel dirty afterwards, but really... He's a great player in this game. This team was amazing. I really enjoyed it. We scored a lot of goals in a short amount of time. If you've enjoyed, smash a like. Thanks for watching and peace.